This question deals with a 64-year-old male with long his history of persistent back pain, so persistent back pain, constipation, easy fatigability, is found to have low hemoglobin, and serum creatinine level of 2.9. So creatinine level is going to be 2.9, that's high. Renal biopsy shows atrophic tubules. So now we're going to be talking about biopsy. And we're going to see atrophy of the tubules. Many with large obstructing eosinophilic casts. So these tubules are going to be obstructed with eosinophilic casts. The patient most likely suffers from which of the following? Now we have to go and make the diagnosis. So let's first focus, focus on the generalized um, kind of presentation. Easy fatigability, okay? constipation, then decrease in hemoglobin, and persistent back pain. Seems like multiple myeloma. Okay, pers multiple myeloma, persistent back pain, that goes. Constipation, multiple myeloma is going to have increase in calcium. So hypercalcemia can cause um, constipation. Then e easy fatigue, that can be due to anemia. And anemia is seen in multiple myeloma. Decrease in hemoglobin is due to anemia. And creatinine is a little bit high. Why? Multiple myeloma has Benz Jones proteins, which goes and deposits in the kidney, causing um, kidney damage, which causes atrophy of the tubules. And there is also eosinophilic casts, which blocks the tubules in multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma will also be associated with bone pain due to osteoclasts activating factor. Multiple myeloma can lead to chronic renal failure due to hypercalcemia, where calcium can go and bind to the, cal uh, to the kidney parenchyma and cause renal failure. It can also cause renal failure by hyperuricemia. Okay? And other causes of chronic renal failure is going to be amyloidosis, frequent infections, light chain deposition of multiple myeloma, all these affecting the kidney due to multiple myeloma can lead to chronic renal failure. Now, all these can be seen with increased creatinine level, which is seen in this patient. Benz-Jones proteins are also very toxic to the tubular epithelial cells. That also causes atrophy of the tubules. And numerous, on, on, on light microscopy, we're going to see numerous glassy eosinophilic casts on the tubular lumens, which is seen here. So really, this is a constellation of symptoms together, which brings to the fact that this is multiple myeloma. Okay, so what are some of the other contenders? What else do you see eosinophilia, eosinophilia in? We can see it in interstitial nephritis, but with interstitial nephritis, are you going to see anemia? Or are you going to see constipation? Do you you know, I mean, all those constellation of symptoms matching together led to the fact that this is multiple myeloma. Okay, so let's look at the options and see if we can come up with a reasonable answer. Choice A, ischemic tubular necrosis. This question has nothing to do with ischemic tubular necrosis, so that's not a possible answer. Acute pyelonephritis. With pyelonephritis, instead of eosinophilic casts, we're going to see red blood cell casts. Choice C, Hypersensitivity, interstitial nephritis. You know, these are the choices. And NSAID associated nephropathy. See, these are C and D. I mean, you come across these before multiple myeloma, and you might want to jump to these options. But you do have to take into account persistent back pain, constipation, anemia, creatinine increased, all these things, right? So you have to see that sometimes they're distractors, but sometimes they're actually going towards another disease, which are a little bit harder to see than hypersensitivity, hypersensitivity interstitial nephritis or NSAID-associated nephropathy, okay? 
aminoglycoside toxicity and also cause nephrotoxicity, but also causes ototoxicity, teratogenic, does not cause persistent back pain or constipation. Lead nephropathy, again, does not cause these symptoms. Papillary necrosis, not seen in, in this case. Urate nephropathy, not seen with these kind of constellation symptoms. So ultimately, we're left with multiple myeloma.